Um, okay, hey, so today I wanted to show you, so you know how people are obsessed with like lip filler because it makes their lips look like super plump and juicy, you know? Like an easy way to tell that somebody has lip filler is that they don't have any like natural lines in their lips, which is great for application of like things like liquid lipsticks and whatever. Uh, I wanna show you how to kind of fake, it's faking fuller lips without doing all this crazy like lip liner contour and just making your lips look like super healthy and juicy, but they're gonna look way more full. That's what we're doing today. By the way, somebody commented and said that they were unsubscribing from my, my, my channel because I don't smile enough. Bye. Okay, so the first thing is going to be contouring around your lips with a powder. So I've talked about this a little bit uh, before and it was a little bit more specific, I think. I'm gonna keep it a little bit more general for basically all lips. Um, so the same way that you would contour around your face, contouring around your lips is just going to kind of like make them look like they're more this, you know what I mean? Because when I do this, <laughs> which looks really stupid, but when I do that, I get a little bit more of a shadow down here and a little bit more of a shadow up here. So it kind of just looks like it creates this like 3D, your lips are just like coming out effect. So I do have other videos on this, but to keep it very simple, uh, you wanna use the same color that you're using to contour. So for me, I'm gonna be using the Wayne Goss Radiance Boosting Face Palette. This is the shade that I'm using. It's a nice cool toned contour, uh, especially for things like your nose and the center of your face. If you use something that's like way too warm, it's just gonna look a little strange. You can be a little bit general with this. The, the contour brush that I use for my cheekbones and also my jawline is the Morphe R31 brush. And I like it just because it kind of like fits into those hollows really well, you know? But it's got that nice like dome and it's fluffy, whatever. I really need to wash this, holy shit. Um, so this is what I'm gonna use. I'm going to, I'm gonna start off by dipping my, bro not the bronzer, my, the tip of my brush into the powder. And then I'm gonna start off with my lower lip. I'm gonna go right in the center. And I'm literally just going to buff underneath just the center of my lip. Okay, so already we kind of have this like little bit more of an exaggerated shadow underneath our lower lip. I'm gonna do the same thing with my top lip. So I'm gonna do this motion, super cute, and just focus it like right up here. Now, one of the nice things about using like a big fluffy brush is it just kind of helps with blending. If you're using something that's like smaller, you end up having to be a little bit more um, careful because it's more detailed and it can sometimes create a little bit more of a line. So I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna go back and forth. And I'm gonna focus it right above my lip, pulling it down so that it doesn't get like too much. And I like to kind of blend it upward a little bit. It's kind of like a tr almost in a, like a triangle shape up to my nose. So right like that. So again, kind of creating this like cute little mustache shadow that makes our lips look like they're going like that, all right? Now, something that I like to do, I'm gonna use a slightly more detailed brush. This is, where did it go? I just had it a second ago. This is the Yano series by Beautylish. I think these were a little bit expensive. This is the brush number seven. Honestly, this whole series is like fantastic. I'll link it down below. Uh, they're just like super soft and blendable. Anyway, this is nice because it comes to like a very, very nice, Point, but it's super soft and like the shortest bristles are way down here. So it's just like really nice for blending. Anyway, so I'm gonna do a similar thing. I'm gonna pick up product just on the tip of the brush. And the reason that I am gonna do this is because my lips tend to kind of like, I just, I have an angry face. So I like to give them a little bit more of like a smiley lift so people don't unsubscribe. <laughs> what? Um, anyway, so shading like this area right here is going to, cause you can kind of see, I already have like a little bit of a natural like shading right there and it kind of gives my lips a little bit of a, you know, tilt up, a little bit of a cute little smile. But if I shade a little more, just here, it kind of accentuates that. I'm just using the lightest hand. It's kind of like, I don't know if you can see this like pocket right here of like white. I'm kind of just like pushing that back in space, which makes it look more like it's doing that. You know what I mean? It's all about your contouring. Can you see the difference? It just kind of pulls this side up a little bit more. This part is um like unnecessary. It's not necessarily making your lips look more full. 
Uh, but it is like a nice little trick and I just always do it when I do my makeup. Well, for the most part. Okay, so that's the first step. Now, next is going to have, uh, what is going to have? Is going to be using a nice neutral liner for your lips. <sighs> There's so many. <laughs> I'm gonna link a bunch of my favorite neutral liners for various skin tones. For example, Endless Cacao. Endless Cacao is great for like, I mean, I use this, but for this kind of look, it would probably be better for more like cooler toned medium skin. Uh, we've got Mac Stone is really good. It's like ever so slightly more warm than that one. Uh, strip Down, Mac Strip Down would be better for like me, uh, light to medium skin that's a little bit more on the warm side. Uh, a lot of you guys know that my favorite lip liner was Lime Crime Topist, and I think it was discontinued. So I'm today going to be using the NYX Nude Beige Lip Liner. You just wanna make sure that you're using, you're using something that's gonna be like neutral, not too warm. You don't want it to be too pink. Uh, somewhere in between like a cool tone, like something that you might use to contour, but like close to your natural lip color. Do you know what I mean? Maybe ever so slightly darker. Okay, so I'm using NYX Nude Beige, uh, which is just like phew, such an oldie, man. This is like my first nude lip pencil that I really liked. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ever so slightly overline my lips, starting with the bottom. I'm gonna go just outside my natural lip line. As I get into the inner corners, I'm just taking it onto my actual lip line. Little contour. Then same thing with my upper lip, just going just outside the natural lip line, bringing it down. Okay, now I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna blend that out. I'm literally just gonna pat over that. And it's gonna ever so slightly blend out into the contour that we, uh, the contour powder that we put down. Top and bottom. And I'm doing this all around the outer perimeter of my lips. Now I'm gonna go back in with that pencil and I'm just gonna do a little defining. Just a little. Contour the outer parts. Okay, so this is it with just the liner. Now I'm gonna go in with, um, I mean, you can use anything. You can use any lip gloss, any lip balm. I'm just going to be using um, the Sigma Renew Lip Oil with whatever, whatever, and this is in the shade Hush. All right guys, that's it for this video. This is the finished look. Obviously, you know, pretty plump and juicy. Um, you don't have to like diffuse your lip liner if you feel like it's a little too much, but the contour trick really does do the trick. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do I look ridiculous? Would you do it? Uh, and that's it. Hopefully I'll see you again at some point. Bye-bye.